Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how and when to use drag and drop action block, which is called Set Lives. It's, I think, last in uh, this sequence of videos and uh, last of those instance variables. So, uh, we have learned in a uh, few previous videos how to add some kind of so-called instance variable action blocks which can uh, show uh, sorry not show but get and set for you score health and lives and those uh, instance variables are already pre-made from game maker studio for you so you can use them fast and easy not to lose your own time to make them uh, customize and so on uh, but you can just click and drag and drop them drop them on the screen uh, and that's because uh, it's much much faster for you to do that in this manner and that's also because you will uh, need most of those variables for your game most of your games will need some kind of uh, score uh, lives health for your player and so on uh, in today's video we are going to set lives in uh, last video uh, when we added uh, get lives that worked fine we used a draw value to draw that on the screen but when I start the game you can see that lives are zero that is how game maker works every instance starts with zero uh, we don't want that for our game we want our game to start uh, with our player having for example three lives like in I don't know in Super Mario uh, or some games like Super Mario um, not sure what else platformer games and so on uh, uh, most of those uh, shorts and games and simple games start with players having couple of lives two three and so on so again uh, when I think of it where uh, uh, do I want to edit and how uh, do I want to edit? Do I want to edit when my game starts or later and so on? I want my game to start with my player having three lives. So that makes sense that I add that into my create event. A create event is triggered when your game starts, when your object is created on the screen. That's uh, what. That's why it's, uh, it's called create. Uh, when the object is created, do something and do it only once. Like. Uh, for example, uh, give uh, my player a uh, health amount of 100, give it 3 lives, give it uh, some kind of name, class, race and so on. Um, and later you can change that, but uh, the game starts uh, with those uh, information uh, specific, like they are triggered once, uh, you know that information and then the game starts. Uh, so um, I am going to click and drag uh, set lives uh, I think that's yeah set lives that's what we are going to do today and just change this set lives to 3 so uh, this would be I think enough the problem with which I have here a little bit is when uh, because I have changed this where lives target I have renamed this target into target var lives uh, but the game maker is smart enough to understand that uh, uh, this set lives will work with this with this target var lives with this target variable okay I think so let me try the game if it works and uh, maybe I I'm going to explain yeah lives 3 nice uh, four minutes okay I think I will explain this is it for this video again as uh, so far but I'm going to try to explain one more topic um, um, which I have uh, talked about a little bit in previous video which I think is uh, important for some of you guys which are beginners just to clear that in your mind so uh, uh, as I said in previous video like uh, when I play this a game and it doesn't matter if I play it for like five minutes or 50 minutes a game maker will work in some kind of uh, his own uh, workflow his own manner and that is uh, called uh, in a game maker that is called steps steps so you have uh, that as event here 
when you click on some kind of game object add event step and uh, these steps are defined again by you when you make your game in uh, game maker by default you can change that but it works like um, 60 or 30 steps per uh, per second so that means it's like uh, 30 uh, frames per second or, or 60 and that means uh, when i play uh, my game game maker uh, reads the code and uh, it uh, uh, executes the code 60 times per second if i put the code in my step event so every uh, piece of code which i put in my step event is checked by game maker and run through and executed 30 or 60 times per second uh, that's crazy intensive that's crazy hard for uh, uh, people to comprehend but the computers work fast and uh, they can calculate much much faster than us but uh, uh, that's the reason why you don't want to put much code into the step event and that's also uh, the reason why you don't want to put much code into draw event also because draw event works uh, the same way as a step events so st uh, when you uh, add some kind of code when you program in step event or draw event be careful uh, those are checked and run through 60 or 30 times per second so it's very very intensive you don't want to put uh, some crazy amount of code there or something you don't need uh, in my case I have put some kind of uh, if I check my obj manager and go to draw event you can see that I have some kind of code here uh, which uh, checks uh, my uh, uh, values for score health and lives and so far I think it's necessary uh, more or less and uh, needed for my game in this uh, uh, development uh, and you can see although you don't see anything glitching or uh, and anything bugging on the screen uh, these these uh, uh, variables score health and lives they are checked uh, I think 30 or 60 times uh, per second if I'm not wrong if draw event works same as step event so uh, why would I need a score uh, to be checked like for example uh, every second 30 times per second and so on uh, because I don't know when this guy this white square player will touch this uh, yellow circle so I have to check it every second and uh, more than once per second in game maker it's 30 or 60 but you can also change that that's more complex for beginners so don't think about it just concentrate on how uh, game maker has to know every second if i'm going to take this uh, coin or not so am i going to touch it or not so he, he has to check that and uh, that's why you need this score event in uh, uh, get score in a draw event uh, so for example if i touch it now the score will change to five and for example i can play maybe the whole game without even touching any kind of different uh, coin but the game maker will uh, still check it check the score okay is something changing is some is some, uh, has someone added score and so on so this score is uh, uh, checking uh, 30 times per second in draw events same with health and lives because those values are uh, variables which vary through time through my game depending on what player is playing what player is uh, taking losing or something like that uh, so uh, just to show what will happen if I instead of draw event if I use it in um, uh, for example create event uh, which works differently uh, I'm going to show that now so for example as we said before when I touch those coins the score will change by adding five so that's it this works so far why because i'm checking it every second 30 times per second here in draw event with get score so it's like with this uh, action block here get score it's like me asking the uh, yeah 
Uh, it's like me asking the game uh, maker studio okay give me the score give me the score what is the score what is the score like 30 or 60 times per second it's crazy if you think about it but that's how games and programming works and uh, game maker is checking that and checking and checking and checking and so on and uh, when the change uh, is made when it occurs uh, he just says okay now the score is five now the score is 10 now the score is 20 and so on and you you can draw that value or you don't have to we have uh, chosen to draw that value on the screen so uh, let me disable this uh, now i will first copy it and uh, then disable it so uh, now it won't uh, change on the screen because i have disabled it i hope that's clear it's like i have deleted this uh, Oh no, it won't even work. Okay, cool, because it's even better. It, it uh, gives us some kind of error, but I will show you uh, something else which I wanted to show you anyway. So, uh, as I said, uh, this draw event and this step event, they are read 30 times per second, and that's uh, sometimes needed, like for this example for score. But, for example, if I uh, made an error or try to uh, check if this works or try to uh, be smart and instead of uh, getting the score all the time refreshing it here in draw or step event I'm going to try to edit here in create event and uh, get score so it's the same block as this one here which is disabled in draw event I'm using the same code here get score in create event so what am i doing now now i'm now, now i'm telling the game maker to check this get score okay give me the score but how many times we have said earlier this create event is done how many times only one you have uh, triggered it once the code is uh, uh, read by game maker from top to the bottom so he reads set health okay health is 100 set lives okay lives are three get score okay what the score is the score is zero and i draw that score here draw value score and that's it he never checks it later so it's like he doesn't care anymore you have tell uh, told him to check that once with get score in create okay check that once what is the score the score is zero draw it here endlessly but the score will be zero it won't change even if i pick up the coins here on the screen which i will show you now why because i have checked the score only once in create event it's like uh, t uh, coming to a football game or baseball game checking the score on the start and that's it zero zero on basketball game and you leave the game it's like leaving the game you have left the game and you don't care and this uh, when you put that's how create event works it it's it remembers what you said on the start but in draw and step event it's che checked every second 60 times per second so it's like refreshing 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 and so on so when i leave this get score give me the score in create event i will get zero on the screen and that will work fine i think but uh, the problem is because if i leave it in a, um, create event uh, that uh, variable is never checked again so when i touch this yellow circle what will happen with score we have seen earlier that will uh, it will change uh, to five because uh, when i mean in um, when i have code in draw event or step event but now i have it in create event so it won't change yeah you can see score is zero why let me try with other no score is zero i have collected all the coins and the score is still zero why is that so because i don't check that get score here in my draw or my step event but i have checked it only once when the game started in create event so create event is triggered only once and you don't care about it anymore until you change until you change it later in draw or step event but when you use the step event it's 
checked every second so i again and for the last time sorry but that's uh, this very very important topic and uh, 15 minutes uh, <laughs> so uh, because i have used this get score and i'm pulling the information create event i don't i cannot change my score on the screen in real time and now i will disable this get score in create event and enable it in draw event because this draw event is refreshed 30 or 60 times per second whole game and now now game maker is checking for me 60 times per second okay get the score get the score get the score get the score the score is five get the score get the score get the score the score is plus five ten get the score get the score and so on so uh, just be careful where you put the code that's the whole idea uh, but this is uh, it's it was probably boring for most of you uh, but this is very very important topic especially for beginners so when you uh, code your games uh, drag and drop or game maker language or any kind of uh, uh, programming language and game engine unity unreal and so on they work all the same in same pr principle it's just called differently in unity it's called update instead of step and so on so be careful where you put your code if you want something triggered once and uh, mostly for the start of the game you put it in create event if you want to check it whole game all the time you put it in step draw and so on but you have to uh, be careful not to put much stuff in code into uh, draw and step events because uh, that way you will put too much work on your game engine uh, that's it for this video uh, see you next one i have seen uh, some questions uh, i'm glad the, uh, some people ask some uh interesting questions so i will uh, try i think to uh explain those or uh, solve those problems and help someone in uh, real life so don't be shy if you need something ask if, if it's simple or i have time i can explain it no problem that's it for this video bye for, bye for now and uh, keep on making games or whatever you make in real life uh, virtual or wherever you are bye for now